Also new this afternoon, the upstate saying goodbye to a longtime philanthropist. 93 year old Melvin, Melvin Yance passed away on Saturday. As Fox Carolina's Myra Ruiz reports, the longtime attorney and Fountain Inn resident left his mark in many ways. You don't have to look far across the upstate to see the name Yance outside of a building. And we're learning a little bit more about Melvin Yance. Melvin's personality, it went from A almost to Z. He could be cantankerous because he wanted his way. He knew what he wanted and he knew what was most of the time what was right. Don Nixon, fellow civic leader and friend of Melvin Yance, says Yance brought harmony to the world in more than one way. In addition to the million and a half dollars that helped renovate the performing arts venue in Fountain Inn, he was instrumental in starting the local symphony orchestra. And Melvin said something that I'll never forget. He said, when you invest in something, that makes people better, but also makes the future better, you feel very, very proud. Melvin and Dolly Yance were so committed uh, in terms of especially higher education and making sure that students had the opportunity to succeed. So when it came to building this facility, the Center for Manufacturing Innovation at CUI Car, uh, Melvin was one of the first in line to say, how can we help you do this? Friends say Yance and his wife gave at least $15 million to charities and schools like North Greenville, Furman, and Clemson, too. What have we lost? I think very little because he inspired so many other people, including me, to uh, join in the, the force of people that wanted to uplift this little community of Fountain Inn, South Carolina. The final farewell for Melvin Yance is set to take place tomorrow, his funeral. In Fountain Inn, my Ruiz, Fox Carolina News. And that will be happening at 1230 at Fountain Inn Baptist Church.